Hey team, it's Valerie Link here after a bit of leave. So April was a time for me when I took hard rest. So meaning that it was an all stop for me, no Facebook, no email, no as much as possible. I didn't even read or engage with anything that was work related, any conversation anybody wanted to have with me. If it was work related, I really tried to steer the conversation away. So I took the long weekend as I um, thought that I would maximize it this time because rather than doing what I normally do, which is to also have a personal retreat offsite, like to go somewhere, because I am already doing that in the Blue Mountains with my friend Joe, I decided to do a stay at home, um, all stop leave and personal retreat. I am feeling a little under the weather, which is very interesting. Caught a bit of a cold. So if you're looking at me kind of wondering why you actually look worse for wear, it is because <clears throat> I've actually got a cold at the moment. But I did want to come online. Um, I think just to normalize that um, when we rest or when we take leave, it is intentional and it is a discipline. But we don't have to feel ashamed or embarrassed if we get sick or, you know, if we are actually um, under the weather because life happens. We're just human. It's a discipline. It's not a badge of honor, really, to say anything. So what I did do, however, is after I had my all stop, I then had a re-entry. So what I did was I sent an email to my clients, to my coaching clients, as well as to my team. Hi, Avril. I've been sending people your way, by the way. I do hope that they are contacting you because you are totally the best. Um, <clears throat> so an all stop from my team and basically um, no email communication. But then what I what I did do is for my leadership team in the practice, Thursday, Friday, and my coaching clients who are private practice owners themselves, I did a re-entry uh, model for my uh, leave, which is I started to do my planning for my next quarter. So for April, May, June, just put all the things in my dates and my calendar um, done and as well as just touch base with my clients. Hey, Avril. <clears throat> so that's all done. It feels so neat. I don't know whether you have the opportunity to do this, but it was just so good to put all my key things into the diary. So what have I put into the diary for the next 90 days? All of my personal learning, all of my leadership learning that I need to get done because I myself sign up for a coaching program. And so I've put all of that through for the whole year when I'm actually going to be focused on my leadership learning. I've got my professional development things all put in as well. Thankfully, because I'm part of my own practice, that's all been booked in as well. I put in all of my content development. So if you haven't, if you're a private practice owner and you haven't joined our group, it's called the Private Practice Leadership Support. We've got all our content put in there as well. Um, <clears throat> I've put in all of my networking and meetings, everything done for the rest of the year. And then in the gaps are basically things which people can book into for my clients. Per, um, appointments as well as my team and it feels so neat so so neat for my personal rest while I was on leave um, because I have a HSC child my daughter is doing the HSC this year her final year of school it wasn't really a great time to disrupt the family in fact we've got three students there were four students in the family I just finished my master's of leadership and now there are three students my husband's studying my son is studying my daughter is studying so it wasn't going to be a great one for us to disrupt the family to go away and what I did was I, I actually just spent some time noticing when I was on leave, you know, just noticing how I wanted to be present for my family and at the same time give myself a bit of a break. So I decided this leave to do what I usually call productive rest. Hello, Tanya. Nice to see you. I don't think I've ever seen you live before. I call it productive rest. Productive rest is basically pottering around the house naming certain projects that i think okay this is really manageable and this is really doable and it's actually going to give my brain a rest from all the other things that i usually think about so my projects were <clears throat> i really wanted to get one part of the garden fixed 
um, there is this tree that really bothers me. I just have been avoiding going outside there because whenever I look at it, it just makes me feel like a mess. So I chopped it all down. It was very, very, very therapeutic. Killed it down to the ground. That was my project. My other project is, I don't know what you're like, but I'm always suspicious when I go into the fridge in the pantry, like, has anybody actually read the expiry dates on any of these things? Like, how do we know? They're not, like, decades old. So I noticed <laughs> that I really wanted to serve my family and really serve myself as well, because, like, when I reach for things, I'm, like, going, mm. as I had noticed that I wasn't really eating the way that I was eating because I just don't know what's in the pantry anymore. So... I cleared out the whole pantry, threw away a couple of things. Yes, yes, there are boxes of flour that were at least two years old. It's a bit gross when I think about it. Nothing was growing out of it. Threw it all out. <clears throat> we also have, if you followed me for a few years, um, our family every year tries to build on our sustainability habits. And one of the things we've been really trying to do is to get rid of plastic as we go along. Cleared out the plastic as well. The final project, and this is my last day of re-entry, so I've done all of my planning. Yesterday I did my reflection for how the practice is going, how I'm going, how, what my own personal needs are, and then <clears throat> made a plan for that, and then today put that all in the diary. And I've just got one final thing to do for my productive rest, and it is a joy. I love this. Do you love stationery? Oh my goodness, I love stationery. I am guilty of buying too much stationery, but have you ever noticed also that whenever you're looking for something, you just cannot find it? And I have discovered that one of the reasons why I cannot find my stationery is because there are four students, well, three. Oh, I finished three students in the house. Everybody's grabbing stationery. So the stuff is everywhere. And what I'm going to be doing right now is to put all of the stationery into the categories, into little boxes, neatly labeled so we all know where it is. And that will make me very, very happy. I shall have a cup of tea and that'll be my day done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you've watched this far, this is my story of re-entering after leave and having productive rest. And it doesn't always have to look glamorous. You still get sick, even if you're on leave. Cheerio, everyone.